right friends we are going to discuss the second part of this question and answer series for the week 5th to 11th january so during this week uh, we already discussed some of the important events in lecture format and the first session of question and answers already completed this is the second session of question and answers so in this session we are going to discuss some more questions the first question here is e ipos are proposed by what is meant by ipo ipo is initial public offer what is the meaning of initial public offer this is the way to invest in the companies through ipo companies go for investment by the public public whoever wants to invest in the companies through ipos so now in the electronic form this ipos are coming up so this e ipos are proposed by securities and exchange board of india sebi sebi is the capital market regulator what is the meaning of capital market regulator the regulator for various instruments like equities debts and all these things that is sebi securities and exchange board of india so ipos comes under the purview of securities and exchange board of india so e ipos are also proposed by sebi so it is still in the draft stage guidelines will be issued shortly so sebi is contemplating to go for electronic form of ipos so the correct answer for this question is sebi next question a rubel hussain who was arrested due to the complaint lodged by an actor recently an actor complained against rubel hussain that he molested her so because of the complaint of the actor he was arrested and he is the cricketer from bangladesh he is also included in the squad for world cup but unfortunately because of the complaint from an actor he was arrested and he is the cricketer from bangladesh right look at the next question name the former chief minister against whom rupees 1.99 crore 19 year old it case was closed by it department recently there was a case against ms jailalitha as well as sashikala and the case the amount is roughly 2 crore rupees the case is almost going on for the past 19 years and recently ms jailalitha the former chief minister of tamil nadu and ms sesikala both played paid this 2 crore amount and after paying this uh, exact amount of 1.99 crore rupees it department closed the case of 19 year old right so the correct answer for this is ms j jailalitha right next one carnival films acquired big cinemas of anil ambani remember anil ambani group owns big cinemas it is the multiplex chain of all over the country so this big cinemas were purchased by carnival group for an amount of rupees 700 crore rupees so the right answer here is 700 crore rupees remember big cinemas owned by anil ambani group and this was purchased by carnival films for an amount of rupees 700 crores right look at the next question or international regulatory framework international regulatory framework to strengthen the regulation supervision and risk management of banks it is regulatory body supervision and risk management of banks that means central banks of various countries central banks of various countries discuss various aspects by sitting at a place called basel in switzerland and they issue regulations which are known as basel norms basel 1 norms have already been in, implemented all over the world basel 2 norms have already been implemented and now it is the time for basel 3 norms basically this basel 3 norms are for regulation supervision and risk management and these regulations are framed at a place called basel in switzerland it is the congregation of central banks from many countries they deliberate and after that they issue guidelines to take care of the risk arising out of banking operations across the world these are called basel norms right next one name the country which 
devalued its currency by 7% for the second time in a week. Any country will devalue its currency so as to give impetus to exports. Here, the answer is Belarus. Belarus is near Russia. So, this country, the currency of this Belarus is Belarusian ruble. They devalued by 7%. This is for the second time in a week because of the crisis in the currency. You see, Russian currency is in problems because of two reasons. One is the reduction in the oil prices. The second one is economic sanctions by Western countries on Russia because of its annexation of Crimea. Because of these two reasons, Russian economy is facing pressure. Recently, it increased interest rates and its currency lost its value. So, by the side of Russia, Russia aligned countries, this Belarus is also one country which is with the Russian bloc. So, it also lost its value. So, recently for the second time, Belarus devalued its currency by 7% to give impetus to exports. Look at the next one. The International Bank, which announced 4,000 job cuts. They want to close some of its retail businesses. They want to uh, concentrate on its investment portfolio or investment banking arm. And Standard Chartered Bank wants to close some of its retail businesses. That's why it announced 4,000 job cuts in recent times. So, the answer for this question is Standard Chartered Bank because it wants to close some of its retail banking businesses. Right? Look at the next question. As for the fourth annual employment and unemployment survey, the state with the lowest unemployment rate is, remember, the state with the lowest unemployment rate is Gujarat, followed by Karnataka. Gujarat has got only 1.2% of unemployment. Karnataka is 1.8% and followed by Maharashtra with 2.8%. The prime reason why Gujarat and Maharashtra have got lesser unemployment rates is because of industrialization. These two western states in the country are highly industrialized, whereas Karnataka is coming up with software and electronic goods. So, because of these two reasons, the states like Gujarat, Karnataka and Maharashtra have got the lowest unemployment rate. Look at the highest unemployment rate. Sikkim has got highest unemployment rate of 15.8% uh, and Arunachal Pradesh with 14%. Kerala with 11.8% has are the states with highest unemployment rate. Out of these states, these two are northeastern states where not many job opportunities are available. But look at Kerala. Kerala is basically thriving on foreign remittances. Uh, almost 9% of the Keralites are working abroad in Gulf countries. Because of the foreign money, the state is surviving. So, it is natural to have high unemployment rate in Kerala. So, remember, however, the Gujarat is the state with least unemployment rate, whereas Sikkim is the state with highest unemployment rate. Right? Look at the next one. Name the metro which launched a bicycle sharing scheme. Bicycle sharing scheme is uh, basically metro was constructed to reduce pollution in the city. It is the public infrastructure which aims at reducing pollution. So, similarly, if a person is getting down at metro station, he will go by bicycle to his house so that for pollution will be further reduced. For that purpose, Delhi Metro introduced this bicycle sharing scheme at several of its metro stations recently. So, the correct answer is Delhi Metro. Look at the next question. Julio Scherer Garcia, who founded news magazine Proceso, died recently. He's the famous journalist, Mr. Garcia. He belongs to Mexico. He exposed several scandals in that country through his magazine Proceso. He died recently. He is a famous journalist. Right? Next question. Name the software company which announced increase in net profit to 13%. That is 
3215 crore it is infosys why i asked this question is previously infosys was under founder ceos much mr vishal sikka is the first non founder ceo i can say he is the outsider who is heading infosys so he is the first non founder ceo under his helm it is expected that infosys will grow fast now the profit of 13% uh, that is 3250 crores during the previous quarter shows that it is on the right track because it was in some problems during the recent times now after taking over of vishal sikka there is confidence in infosys that it will go ahead right the next one name the firm which was purchased by facebook recently facebook recently purchased quick fire quick fire is the firm which enables viewing without a loss of quality when sufficient bandwidth is not available when sufficient bandwidth is not available still you can view videos without the loss of quality the firm quick fire is for that recently facebook purchased quick fire for undisclosed amount right the next one name the software company which announced raising innovation fund from 100 million dollars to 250 million dollars to help startups startups need lot of venture capital that means you have to nurture the startups with that in mind infosys recently started uh, increased the fund from 100 million dollars to 250 million dollars that is infosys innovation fund it increased from 100 million dollars to 250 million dollars because money is required to nurture the startups then only innovation will come up right the next one recently convocation was held 12th convocation of igidr what is igidr indira gandhi institute of development research indira gandhi institute of development research while the convocation was attended by the rbi governor mr raghuram rajan as well as the finance minister mr arun jaitley and this institution was set up by rbi and is now an autonomous institution and established in mumbai right so the igr idr is headquartered in mumbai it is the autonomous institution set up by rbi right next one supreme court allowed dash group to raise 1.05 billion dollars abroad for release of its chairman a case relating to sahara india parivar is going on and to grant bail to its chairman mr subrata to grant bail to its chairman supreme court asked the firm to deposit rupees 10000 crores with it to get bail 10000 crores cease to be deposited with supreme court because in the as per the version of supreme court the firm has to give 20000 crore to the depositors so it put the condition that 10000 crore is required to be deposited with supreme court and to raise that money recently supreme court allowed mr subrata roy or sahara group to raise 1.05 billion dollars abroad 1.05 billion dollars roughly amounts to 6500 crores abroad for release of its chairman so here the answer is sahara group right the next one jellikattu taming the bull is the traditional fight of bulls which is prominent in the state of tamil nadu tamil nadu this jellikattu the otherwise bull fight the taming the bull that is famous in tamil nadu right vibrant gujarat summit which was held in gandhinagar gujarat is the dash global summit i have already told you vibrant gujarat summit is being held once in 2 years from 2003 which was started by the then gujarat chief minister mr narendra modi and now the vibrant gujarat summit held from 11th to 13th of january is the 7th in the series this is the 7th summit held in gandhinagar gujarat the next one cassini spacecraft 
recently pinpointed the exact position of Saturn and its moons precisely. Recently, Cassini aircraft, Cassini spacecraft recently pinpointed the position of Saturn and its moons quite precisely. So, this Cassini belongs to, this is, this belongs to USA, United States of America. In this context, I would like to tell you one more thing. There is also a mission called Rosetta mission. Rosetta mission is to explore comets. Rosetta mission is to explore comets and Rosetta mission belongs to European Space Agency. Remember Rosetta mission belongs to European Space Agency whereas Cassini spacecraft belongs to United States of America. Right? The next one. All women seven member team recently scaled the highest peaks in all the seven continents. In all the seven continents, that means each continent has got the highest mountain and they, the seven member women team scaled all the seven mountains, Asia, Everest, like that. For all the seven continents, they scaled the highest peaks. So, that team, seven member team, that is women team is from Nepal, right? Next one, Rod Taylor, famous actor in 1960s, famous actor who was famous with his films, Hotel, Sunday in New York. He died recently and he is an actor. The right answer is actor. Look at the uh, posters of the hotel as well as Sunday in New York, right? The next one. The Indian film which got nominated for BAFTA awards. This is the film The Lunchbox. What is meant by BAFTA award? BAFTA award is nothing but British Academy of Film and Television Arts Awards. BAFTA means British Academy of Film and Television Arts and it is the British equivalent of Oscar. And the Indian film The Lunchbox which was produced in the year 2013 is uh, nominated for this awards, BAFTA awards and the film starring Irfan Khan and Nimrit Kaur, right? Directed by Ritesh Batra is the film Lunchbox, which was nominated for BAFTA awards, right? The next one, the largest consumers under cash transfer scheme anywhere in the world are in India. You can see the cash transfer scheme the cash transfer scheme in India for LPG now entered into Guinness Book Records as the highest cash transfer scheme in the world. The highest cash transfer scheme in the world is in India that is cash transfer scheme of LPG and this is Guinness Book of, this entered the Guinness Book of World Re Records, right? The state which is going to be connected first under NOFN is, what is NOFN? National Optic Fiber Network. Under National Optic Fiber Network, almost two and a half lakh villages in the country are going to be connected with broadband connectivity. Two and a half lakh villages in the country are going to be connected with broadband connectivity. It is 20,000 crore project being taken up prestigiously by government of India and National Optic Fiber Network of this project the first state which is going to be connected is Kerala. The answer is Kerala. Kerala is taken up as the first project because of the reason Kerala has already got good network of optic fiber. Right? So, the correct answer for this is Kerala. Right? Vikram Sarabhai Memorial Award for 2014-15. Right? Vikram Sarabhai Memorial Award for 2014-15 was given by Indian Science Congress. I have already told you 102nd Indian Science Congress was held at Bombay University and Mr. M.Y.S. Prasad who is the director of SHAR, Sri Harikota High Altitude Range, who is the director of the uh, Sri Harikota High Altitude Range is selected for the award Vikram Sarabhai Memorial Award for 2014-15. Right? Look at the next question. Pa as part of its Diamond Jubilee celebrations, Kendra Sahitya Academy, Kendra Sahitya Academy will organize six day national theatre festival of drama and all named as 
Rangabharati. The answer is Rangabharati. As part of its Diamond Jubilee celebrations, Kendra Sahitya Academy will organize six-day national drama festival, which is known as Rangabharati. Right? Look at the next one. Name the country where the suicide attack by a ten-year-old girl killed at least nineteen people. There was a suicide attack by ten-year-old girl in the country of Nigeria. Nigeria is badly affected by the terrorist organization Boko Haram. Boko Haram has got its activities in the northeast part of Nigeria. Recently, ten-year-old girl committed suicide attack, which killed almost nineteen people. Right? Next one. Name the telecom company to whom DRI issued. What is DRI? Directorate of Revenue Intelligence issued. A show cause notice for allegedly evading anti-dumping duty of three thirty crores. What is anti-dumping duty? When some firm is manufacturing some goods in foreign country, and they are selling those goods in our country at less than the manufacturing cost. Suppose the cost of manufacturing is hundred rupees. They are selling at fifty rupees. What does it indicate? It indicates they want to sell it lesser than the manufacturing cost, so as to throw away the domestic business. And those firms' anti-dumping duty will be anti-dumping duty will be levied. So anti-dumping duty will be levied when a firm or foreign entity is selling their product in our country at less than the manufacturing cost with an intention to drive away the domestic business. So anti-dumping duty of Three thirty crores was issued on Vodafone, and other telecom companies have also given penalty of Airtel and all those companies. Anti-dumping duty was slashed on these companies. Right, the next one. MOU was signed between Adani Enterprises. Adani Enterprises primarily investing in many projects in Gujarat and Sun Edition of USA. Sun edition of USA. This is into the manufacture of photovoltaic cells. These two came to an understanding to invest almost four billion dollars at a project near Mundra in Gujarat. Right? This was signed during the vibrant Gujarat summit held recently, and. Between Adani Enterprises and Sun Edison of United States of America, these two came forward to manufacture photovoltaic cells near Mundra in Gujarat at a cost of four billion dollars. So the right answer for this question is four billion dollars, right? Priya Pillai is in the news recently. She is associated with the Priya Pillai. You are looking at the picture. She is Priya Pillai. She is associated with Greenpeace. This is the environmental group, non-governmental organization fighting the environmental issues in our country with the aid from foreign country. She was supposed to address parliamentarians in Britain, but she was not allowed to flow out of India recently. So this Greenpeace organization is into the environmental issues. The government feels that these organizations like Greenpeace, Avas. They are trying to uh, stall the development in this country. That's why they are getting funding from other countries in the name of environment. Right? Look at the next question. During Pongal festival, Pongal festival, you call it by many names across the country: Pongal, Sankranti, Bihu, like this. And during the Pongal festival, cockfights are prominently organized in. The state of Andhra Pradesh, right? For three days, this cockfights will take place during the Pongal celebrations or Sankranti celebrations, right? The next one for non-banking finance companies, KYC verification. KYC verification is nothing but know your customer. Know your customer is nothing but address proof and identity proof. Address proof and ID proof. Banks before issuing account. Will verify your KYC not only at the time of opening the account, but again periodically they have to verify KYC. Same rules are applicable for non-banking finance companies also. So 
they were also brought at par with banks i would like to tell you for low risk customers it is 10 years for medium risk customers it is 8 years for high risk customers it is 2 years so remember for banks as well as nbfcs the periodic verification schedule is one and the same for low risk customers it is 10 years for medium risk 8 years and high risk it is 2 years right look at the last question as per the finance ministry statistics dash percent of households now have bank account under Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, which was started in the month of August up to January 26, in our country, 11 and half crore bank accounts were opened. 11 and half crore bank accounts were opened. Initial target was 7 and half crores. Subsequently revised to 10 crores. But ultimately, 11 and half crore bank accounts were opened, which is the Guinness Book Records. And the second thing is, almost now, 99.74% of the households in the country have bank accounts. These in India, 99.74% of households in the country now have bank accounts. This is the Guinness Book of World Record of having 11 and half crore accounts in a short span of 4 months. Right? With this, we will conclude the second week and we will meet once again for the developments in the third week in lecture form as well as in question and answer form. So, I hope that you enjoyed this lecture. Thank you.